you see there is a mandate that is upon our life every one of us here every one of us here seated here and everyone listening or anyone under this voice wherever you are listening from as long as you're hearing me there is a mandate that is upon your life and that one primary mandate is to preach the gospel we are not saying that the moment you are saved you should rush and go and preach the gospel no 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 that's what you're saying the moment you are saved understand that you are meant to save many the moment you are saved you must understand that you are meant to save many god is not bringing this teaching on idol worship into you as a coincidence it is meant deliberately for you to understand it and it's not just for you to consume it it's for you to act on it you might say oh there's nobody that worship idol around me yes but your social media you need to preach it for someone to now if we had not started teaching on this idol worship and how to destroy them how will some people be free there are many people that contacted me and said that oh this thing has been taking life in our family and we say okay do this do this do this this will end it a lady was a lady gave a testimony that she, she has been on warfare every time she's sleeping warfare and you see when you encounter the truth you have rest when you encounter the truth you have rest but when you don't know the truth you constantly be on a warfare even though we know naturally you see there are warfares that are not that are that are that are necessary and they are unnecessary warfares the warfares you engage <clears throat> out of your lack of ignorance is unnecessary warfare for example seeing the cockroach passing and then you are rebuking cockroach die in the name of jesus you see is a warfare that you built by your ignorance then there's another kind of warfare that you build by the spirit when you look at something even when you see a native doctor that has charm and then he's in front of you making invocation you're not bothered because no weapon formed against me shall prosper so you're not bothered about it your level of understanding has already defeated him whatever he's doing and keep in mind anytime someone send you you know i know you watch nigerian movie you think it's only when you say back to sender that it actually goes back to sender anytime an attack comes to you and it does not have effect on you it returns back to who send it that's the principle that's the law so anyone that is willing to stand to kill you is also willing to die hope you know if they invoke a spirit to go if the spirit go and does and he was not able to fulfill that which he was sent to fulfill the demon have to return back to the he must take that blood except they will not send it to another place the bible even just christ said he said my word will not return to me unfulfilled that is also how the kingdom of darkness work when they make an enchantment if it does not get them it comes back to if it does not go to where they sent it it will come back to them and we say back to send that is when it has already gotten you then we are not taking it from you to return it back but by nature it has no power to get you if you are living in christ 